All right, so you guys really liked my first video where I reviewed your avatars. So I decided what better video to make again for 2K subs. Thank you guys so much for 2K. This next year is going to be huge for the channel and you guys aren't going to want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe. I got so much planned. If you guys want to get your own avatar rated, I'm going to try and make a ton of these videos so I can get every single person's avatar rated. So just make sure to post it in the post avatar channel on my Discord server. Link in the description. So the first one, we have Nick Fact. Factory. So his username is Nick Factory, and um, okay, don't don't try and shout yourself out. I see what you're doing there, but yeah, there's his YT. Right off the bat, I see that this avatar is mainly blue, and it's got a good balance where everything is, pretty much every item has some blue in it, and that is one good feature that you always want to have. You just want to have an avatar that matches up well, and he's hit that very, very well here. One thing that I would say could be done better is the pants here don't exactly match the shirt. They just look a little bit off. I don't know what it is. They might be a little bit pixelated, but if you could get those to match just a little bit better, this would be an even better avatar. I'm going to rate this a good five out of ten next avatar we have this avatar is very okay i gotta zoom in a little bit that's way too small did roblox make this smaller or is your avatar small okay that's better anyways right off the bat i see that your avatar everything matches up super well and i really like the black and white that looks really clean especially with the roblox logo you know the old one that's actually bonus points there it's the og roblox logo and you also have the evil side face i usually don't like having like back items or side items but i feel like this flamingo ugc item matches up well with your avatar so yeah i'm gonna rate this a good 7 out of 10 for just how well everything goes together and just how clean this avatar is the next avatar avatar we have is I I don't know how to pronounce that name but anyways this avatar is oh wait never mind that's just Lambo okay I couldn't tell for a second because it's interesting spelling that's pretty cool though so this avatar as you can see the main color is pink and he has a top hat on this is actually a limited here that's pretty cool and then his right leg is from the skeleton pack first of all I do really like how you have everything pink and pretty much everything matches up well really not too much that I could critique about this avatar but the fairy off in the corner does seem a little bit off i feel like if you remove that this would be even better just a little bit more focused on the avatar because this does distract a little bit when you're looking at it but otherwise pretty good looking avatar i'm gonna rate this a nine out of ten all right next one is leaded hat okay so this avatar it looks like it's some sort of anime avatar everything looks like it matches up well and yeah the pinks everywhere it looks like very well designed clothing actually too so pretty good avatar i don't really know much about anime anime this might be like a cosplay or something but looks good i'm gonna rate this a 7 out of 10 for how clean that is so next one is that's kind of a long name puffy green dragon 123's avatar Ooh, okay so this avatar looks kind of like you know one of those classic avatars you'd see in one of those old roblox ads like maybe a 2012 or 2013 millions of players um, and I really think that's a cool thing. Yeah, it's really simple and everything matches up well. You've also got that cool, the cool, whatever that face is called. That's pretty cool. Kind of a classic. But yeah, this is a nice avatar all around. And yeah, I'm gonna write this a 6 out of 10. So the next one, we have Epic Cheesy Potato again. He's got a new avatar for us. He was in the last video, but let's see what he's got this time. So this time he's got some sort of flower growing out of his head. That's the first thing I notice here. Otherwise, the avatar is very basic. That's interesting but yeah so every all the colors match up and everything and i think that's pretty unique i haven't really ever seen an avatar with any type of plant growing out of their head other than maybe like a pumpkin or something that's a pretty good avatar pretty interesting pretty unique so i'm gonna give you a it's a hard one here i'll just give you a six out of ten that's that's a pretty good avatar so the next one we have block fans avatar so let's check this out all right so right off the bat i see that this avatar has a purple theme and overall looks really clean i do like the violet guardia i really like how you have purple throughout the whole avatar purple and black that's actually a really nice combination the scarf also looks really good with this so i'm probably going to rate this a 7 out of 10 so the next one is danius 994 so oh this is good so this avatar this is really unique and it's got you know a blue theme it's got stars it's kind of like a starry blue theme that's how i would put it overall i see that everything matches up well the pants could match a little better to the shirt but otherwise 
This looks great, and I really like the star theme. You've done well with that, having the star and moon hat up here, as well as the star sunglasses, and um, I think the crown fits in well, too. So, yeah, overall, this is a really nice avatar. Oh, and there's even stars on the shirt. I'm gonna rate this a 8 out of 10. If you could have matched the pants up better, that probably would have bumped up your score just a little bit, but overall, great avatar. All right, so the next avatar is... Well, Epic Cheesy Potato just posted his avatar twice, so I'm gonna skip that. But we have Zorified. All right. So Zorified, let's see what you got. Bad request. That was bad luck. Okay, let's try that again. Copy the link. Discord just isn't having a good time. All right, so Zorified. This avatar, ooh, okay, that is pretty good. Another bacon hair avatar that I really like. In my last video, I did see a few bacon avatars that were actually really well made, really unique, and uh, this is another one of those. I really think that it's cool to see bacon hair avatars that, you know, take it to the next level. Usually bacon hair avatars, they just aren't that great, but like this, this is clean. This is uh, very good, especially with the animation pack. 9 out of 10 for that great use of the bacon hair. All right, the next avatar we have Uzi's avatar. Bruh, I didn't care how, how to send the profile, but rate my free avatar. Okay, so I did end up rating a lot of free avatars in the last video, and I was rating them on creativity based on how well you use the free items with, you know, not having Robux. That's a hard thing to do, and if, if you're able to make a good avatar with free items, that takes a lot of talent. So this avatar avatar right off the bat i see this mainly has like a black theme it looks really nice already but i would say that the blue and yellow hat the dino hat here does not really match up the shirt and pants if you could have something maybe more like maybe red hair or blue hair and maybe like a black top hat or something i know you're limited with your free options but there are a few things you could use i just don't think that matches but otherwise great avatar i really like how you have a t-shirt over your shirt speaking of that that was in my how to make a good roblox avatar video where i shared a bunch of tips um and one of them was putting a t-shirt over your shirt if you don't have any robux um it's a good way to make you know a normal looking shirt without having to pay any robux anyways yeah pretty good avatar i'm gonna rate this a five out of ten pretty good for being free next avatar we have tippy boat it's his name on discord i don't know how to say his uh roblox name to be honest i've seen it a few times it's confusing roblox open to back if you can like read this aloud some if you can help me like spell this out just let me know because this is like a whole new level of like hard to read usernames i don't know i just can't read that but anyways another bacon hair avatar so this avatar again it goes with the orange theme i think it's more of a halloween type thing and i think this goes pretty well together the black and the orange it's always a great option so yeah not not too much to say about it but um i would say the purple top hat if you could match that up a little bit better maybe by having a black top hat I think this is a pretty good avatar for using bacon hair, and I'm gonna rate this a 6 out of 10. All right, on to the next avatar, we have Aspect Z. This is Aspect Z's avatar. So right off the bat, I see that this has kind of an aesthetic theme. You know, it's got the butterflies, it's got the green, and it has the white. Overall, it, this is a very clean avatar. There's like one word I can think of to describe it. It's just a clean avatar. Especially with those butterflies, it just flows really well, and I like what you're going for here. I'm gonna have to rate this an 8 out of 10. That is a great avatar. All right, so the next avatar, we have another avatar from Lime. I didn't rate all of them because he posted a lot here and time's running out for this video. So this is based off of Fallout New Vegas. So this is what he was going off of. It's a small image, but um, you get the idea here. That is a uh, very cool, you know, skin from that game. And this avatar, I think, captures it very well in Roblox. Overall, I think this just matches up great and you've hit it very spot on with the Fallout New Vegas avatar you were basing it off of. So I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. That is a great recreation of an avatar from another game. All right, so the next one, we have Jack Whack 01. Oh, what is that? Is this some sort of like warning for my reaction? Okay, let's click it. Let's see what, what this is. Okay, so this looks like sort of an army avatar. Like, um, I think that might be British army. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Nothing here really matches up. Um, You've got like the noob skin color and the uh, fabulous hair or whatever that, that hair is called. Um, um, oh yeah, I wear that. Um, but yeah, nothing really matches too well, so I'm gonna have to rate this like a 4 out of 10, but otherwise, what I do like about it is how you have the red and blue, that matches well. Um, really consistent, but, um, if you could have, like, a different, different face, maybe not, like, the, a noob avatar for that type of avatar, but otherwise, pretty interesting to see that style of avatar with a soldier, so yeah, 4 out of 10. Alright, so we got Chungix here. So right off the bat, I see that this avatar, um, it's using the Arthro package. I can't exactly remember remember what it's called, but I think this is a really unique avatar that kind of more interesting avatars I've seen from Arthro. 
row in a while. I really like how you use that package with the wings there and that Roblox, the free Roblox uh, hat thing there. It's actually one of the first times I've seen a good avatar with that one, I'm gonna be honest. Um, overall, all the colors match up. This is a great like application of Arthro. I rarely see good Arthro avatars. Yeah, I'm gonna rate this a seven out of 10. That is a very nice avatar. And we got this guy again, trying to post his avatar twice. I think I rated you a six out of 10. Well, you have a seven out of 10 now because you said sub to Smarty RBX. And um, yeah, that's exactly what you should do. And you should also make sure to join my Discord server in the description. Go to the channel called Post Avatar and post your own avatar to be rated in a video in the future.